from your loss, it's just a victory, baby I've done it all and seen it all, it's just a victory, baby You gotta see the silver lining, it's a victory, baby If it been a fight, no, no, If you want greatness, it takes time Man, what's up, team? Boys, your boy Cal with another one We on site Man, it's drywall day This is the, uh, one of my other sites that I'm managing For my girl, Teresa um, getting together. You guys already saw part of it on the last video. Oh, you know, I oh yeah, I'm, I'm clean today. You know, it's Happy Easter, but we the work don't stop. Now, when we got houses to renovate, we getting it in. We getting it in with the penny loafers on. <laughs> we getting it in. You hear me? So it's it's looking good. I'm gonna do a little quick little walkthrough, but we gonna jump into jump into this real quick. If you uh, new to the channel. My boy, your boy here, Calvin. I'm the Land Bank Guru, the, the originator, the real Land Bank team, Land Bank squad, all that stuff, that's me. People saw my videos back in 2017 when I first started how to buy a $1,000 house in Detroit and everybody ran with it. But this is, I'm the one that started that. I did that. Check the receipts, it's on YouTube. But uh, lock in with me. We can get your house turnkey ready. Or we can just help you get the land bank off your back, like I say. Um, but lock in with me. I get you get you in contact with the right contractors. Um, and also, if you're a contractor in the city of Detroit, you want to lock in with me, you need some customers, hit me up. You can email me at herosquad.pm at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at... The underscore real underscore Calvin M. Send me a quick message and I'll get you in contact with the right peoples. Um, but yeah, the house looked good. I, I am so happy I decided to. I did these recess lights because you guys know I'm part of the licensed electrician club. Um, but I actually did these recess lights. If you look at my earlier videos, um, I did these recess lights as a courtesy. Cause uh, she didn't pay for those, but I was like, by me, I took an executive decision to remove the wall. That's why you see that hole there because it used to be the heat vent for the wall. And I removed that, it was a wall going straight across. I said, hey man, let's go ahead and get it, make it look good. And that's what we did. So take this journey with me, getting the land bank off your back, doing uh, and then all, all, for the other people that you may not want to buy a land bank house, you may want to buy a house that's more fixed up, um, less work. Lock in with me, I'll get you in contact with the right realtors. I got a team of realtors that'll get you together. Um, let's let's take this journey and get start this generational wealth. All right, I'm done for the day. Um, just enjoy the video. Let's get it. What's up, guys? So I told you we weren't playing no games. So we got these walls up out of here. Get the lamp, get the land bank off your back. So I had to get a light. So we, like I told you before, we getting all this, we playing the structural damage, close this, you know, repair all this fire damage, put in new uh, joists, two by fours, all that good stuff. So I'm about to wire this whole thing up. It's probably gonna take me about a day and a half. I'm at least do everything up into the kitchen and then all I got, but I can wire up everything else here. So I'm getting it, let's go. Man, it's crazy. I wish I could have played the audio for this, but of course I didn't want to get copyright infringement. But here is the same property. I was uh, drilled all my raceways and start running my outlets for the, uh, I'm in the living room area here. Man, this was a nice house. I'm glad it came together. Look at it, how it looks now. Woo, look at that. Guys, it's putting in work. We got, Good drywall up. Let's bag out. Yep. This guy's working. This is day. This is day two of hanging drywall. Let's see here. It's a little dark in here, but they got the ceiling done. This is bedroom one. Of course, y'all know the bathroom already got done. We always do the bathroom for the land bank real quick. They do got, they started 
a little bit of mudding in here. Yep. Cut that light off. Oh, we're gonna be next, of course. The living room looks good. We got our kitchen area here. Of course, we're gonna be getting that done. Let's go up, check the upstairs. See how this looks. I better lock in with my team. They don't play no games. Look at this master bedroom with a half bath. And we got the man cave for the fellas when your wife ain't acting right. <laughs> that smoke. The back area here, you can probably have your desk back here. I made sure I put some outlets over here and right there and right over there. So that way, hey. It's gonna be a nice master bedroom and also with room to do other things this is gonna be the closet area here and then because this is a part of partially was an attic because I was gonna make this a closet but I changed my mind and said hey we could do a half bath right here then you have even more attic space we insulated it and if we got some extra pieces of drywall, we're going to go ahead and close this off. Uh, go ahead and drywall it. But this can be extra area space here. And I can run outlets in here if need be. So it looks really good. Big shout out to Heavy and his crew. Them guys has been uh, putting in work on the projects that I'm managing and uh, hey let's get to it what's going on team so let's get right into it um, so as you saw the um, previous property that was just that um, of course it is Easter happy Easter um, <clears throat> so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, just what this process looks like right now um, but I want to talk about securing your land bank property. So it's really Detroit is a different type of uh, a different type of place where um, you know you have to move accordingly. You have to use common sense. You got to use street smarts. You can't just <clears throat> broadcast to the whole neighborhood. Hey. I'm new here. I'm putting in all new stuff here, and don't and you, and the only thing that you got in your property to secure it is a, a board up over the door, and that could just take a regular uh, Phillips screwdriver and screw it with a drill, right? So you got to take certain steps, right? <clears throat> get to know your neighborhood. Get to know the people that's on your neighborhood, right? That's in your neighborhood. Um, the biggest thing is is that. Even though you have a property that maybe not have any windows and doors and you have boards up, electrical is key. <clears throat> you get get you a good electrician, get your service started as as soon as possible. So that's as we call that service entry. So that would be your meter can outside and your panel in the basement <clears throat> with at least one outlet up under the panel, maybe an overhead pull chain light. And the reason why you get that first is because regardless of the fact of what, all contractors need electricity on site to do the work, do the work. So that way you don't have to run a generator, drawing attention to your site. You get your service entry done. You can get that done immediately. All the properties that I manage <clears throat> have even started did work on. The first thing after closing, we were there putting a the meter can in, getting that stuff started. So getting electricity there as soon as possible, you can do that. You can literally schedule internet service being installed, <clears throat> getting your meter can set up, all that at the same time, right? So of course, um, getting your service activated, depending on what DT um, turnaround time is in the summertime, it may be, you know, remember this past year, DT took a, was taking about, it was almost three weeks out. <clears throat> 
It took us a, a while to get our service cut on at one of the properties. But um, <clears throat> getting service there as quickly as possible so that way you can put up cameras, get internet service from your cable provider, so that way you can monitor your property. So all our sites have Ring cameras. Of course, I'm not being sponsored by Ring, but I just like their platform. If they do want to sponsor one of my videos, they should because all I push their products because being able to get push notifications straight to your device for particular areas within um, uh, within a certain uh, frame. So me what I mean is, is basically on a Ring app, you're able to make a grid for that camera. So any motion in this grid, I want to be notified. Because a lot of a lot of platforms, their camera, the camera is facing your front of your house. You know, you're able to see anybody walk up to your stairs, but it also catches the street, right? So if you got a solar power platform, then every time a car comes down, it's burnt, it's generating, is it's killing the battery. Alright? So I like the ring set um portion because basically if somebody were to park in front of the house or walk on the grass up into the house that's when I'm notified right so but if it's cars and driving in the center you know center lane just going through a side street or whatever I make sure that it doesn't pick that motion up so that's one of the reasons why I love their platform because a lot of the you may not want to run you know power throughout the whole house because at the end of the day I use their uh, stick up cam with the solar panel and I make sure I have it you know angle right so it gets the sunlight and either way it go even if you don't want to do, go with the solar panels um, they're back if you set the uh, criteria for the camera the proper way that battery will last about 28 days and you got to you can just swap it out now of course if you're in a different state then yeah you want to go the solar route but you still want to be tied in with somebody here so cameras, no one wants to be caught on camera. Now cameras is not going to stop somebody from breaking into your property. That's just let's just call the spade a spade, right? But by you putting preventive measures to stop people from breaking into your property, I mean that's that's the biggest one, right? So a lot of the land bank properties come with plexiglass over the windows and doors, right? Uh, and I actually kind of like that because it also helps. So you can see what's in the property, walk through the property, and actually get natural light in, right? And on top of that, can't nobody really, you know, surprise you and scare you or whatever if they steal your house. Because, yes, we do have people that come and maybe sleep in the house, you know, just to get out the elements, you know, get out the rain or whatever. If it's cold, you know, yeah, we have people that do that, right? I uh, just w was looking at a, a four-unit apartment building. And the front door was knocked down, but the guy was in the back room sleeping. I was just like, hey, hello, hello, you know. Hey, we're just looking at the property. Go ahead. We're going about your business, you know. So, and, um, but you, we have that. So, that's the biggest thing. Getting your electricity started. Getting, um, and on, on top of that, if you, you tie in with me, we will, I'll get your electricity started. And if it's an auction property. You know you require to pull one permit so I can pull your service entry permit and then you you're killing two birds with one stone you're getting that first permit portion out the way and then on top of that you're getting your electricity so you know tie in with my team that's what we do you know and then you get me doing your electricity on your site right um, so uh, but um, and also um, getting your doors up um, a lot of times you know, even though you have a board over the door, we I like to install the entry door anyway and just have a board on top of it, right? So that way you're going to see it's a new door there, right? Um, getting your measurements for all your windows. And then when you get your windows installed, we don't just leave, stop leaving the plastic paper showing to everybody that you got brand new windows in. Stop it. Stop it. Peel the stuff off i don't know and, and for you people that have plastic still on your tv you need to you you need to change some things with your life put the plastic off if people got plastic around the tv take that stuff off people leave the plastic up uh little plastic casings on the windows the little labels and stuff peel that stuff off you letting everybody know hey i'm working on this house and i got brand new windows you know what i'm saying peel that stuff off 
but a lot of times so depending on what the neighborhood is i have one site we have it boarded up on the outside the other side we have it boarded up in the inside typically if somebody's going to break your break in um and steal your windows they they don't want to break them they want to get inside the property to steal the windows to uninstall them right typically you use i use mix max screws so that way you'll be all day trying to steal our windows you be by that time you moving around in the property you giving all kinds of because our cameras are set up to where if you come in our house one of our sites we automatically know it's and we got three people who, that got access to the cameras we got somebody on the east side we got somebody on the west side you know we got we got people so we ain't because we ain't got time to be playing with nobody you know so um we make sure that we got cameras looking at everything we got cameras we got cameras in the basement. We got cameras on the first floor. And at the same time, by the time you sit here trying to break in a door, we already get notified. We already get notified. And we make sure that we, hey, we got somebody at least five minutes away. All, all job sites. Because, you know, we de we Detroiters, so we around. You know, so we ain't got time to take no L's. You know, so definitely um, we can't prevent anything. But that's why I push uh, you all getting builder's risk policies look up um talk to your local insurance company if you with them ask them hey i want to get a builder's risk policy what that does is it protects materials on site it, it protects uh stuff that you didn't got to install furnace hot water tank your windows doors all that stuff it protects the property if somebody decided hey they don't like how your house looking they decide they want to burn it down getting a builder's risk policy that will be able to um cover all your um your, you know, so that way you don't lose your money, right? I don't had, I don't had a site catch on fire, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely want to do that. Um, you know, um, uh, like I showed in the video, um, earlier in the video, you know, you see me walking through the property and I'm showing like, hey, because I did the electrical there, and then also now you see like fast forward, we are putting drywall up. And the the most recent this site and the other other site I showed you guys, that was literally to be honest with you, out of contractor days working on these sites was really about I want to say almost thirty days, if not less. Um, but of course, we have to do things in phases because of course we're dealing with investors, so you know we can't just like hey give me the money, give me money. We have to. I, what I like to do is explain what the cost is. Why are we spending this much? And of course, shopping, shopping around, you know, as me being a project manager for some of the sites. I got to, you know, I explained to you like, hey, this is what this cost. This was a going rate for what this cost. Right. And I gave you guys some numbers on the last video of what things cost. Um, so definitely go in um, on your electrical. Uh, def the Come on, Alexa. Alexa just be want to talk for no reason. Alexa, stop talking. Thank you. Okay. Um, I gave you guys some numbers. So depending on what your service is looking like, um, just budget getting electricity started. Depending on what the job is, budget about at least um, four grand getting your electricity started. Um, because, of course, the electrical code did uh, update on the 12th of on March. So we have to do main disconnects outside the property so in the case of a fire the uh fire department don't have to pull the meter out because of course that's dangerous right they're trying to put out a fire and they're touching the meter can right so they basically now we have a main disconnect outside so they can cut uh open it up flick the switch to kill the power so um <clears throat> so i'll say budget about four grand uh just for getting your electrical electrical started uh, parts and materials, right? Just budget that. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be that much, but every job is different. So you may have every house is different. So you may have a longer entry cable, right? I did one property because of the extent of the property and what I had to do there. I had to charge them like seventy five hundred dollars just to put a meter can in and put two panels in. That's just redoing electrical, but it was because of how I had to do the install. I had to use a lot of wire. Um, had to do a house wrap just with the service cable. So, past inspection. Oh, yeah. Um, so, when you, um, 
getting your doors um getting the doors installed i like to put in new stuff but at the same time i like to cover it up so you can get all new windows put in if you're in a rough neighborhood you think it's rough cover them windows up get them, make sure you get a got a good contractor board the windows up got a new windows in just board them up don't just hey i got brand new windows right and then of course if you end up and then also go to home depot or even order on Amazon, you can get the blinds to put the the sticky bump. You can just put the put it paper up. So if so that way, if you decide to take the boards off, you know you ain't gotta worry about hey, can somebody see and look in the property? Now the land bank do, does require you to um, take all your boards and stuff off of the windows um, to comp achieve compliance. But so if you don't want to deal with that hassle of paying somebody to keep taking them off, you can board them up in the inside. <clears throat> But I always say, make sure your house looks like somebody's living there, right? So if you got everything boarded up in the inside, put those blinds up and then put your boards on top of that. So no one knows it's boarded up in the inside, but it, <clears throat> but you know, it also look, look like somebody living there. You have a porch light on, you know, um, how your trash can, you know, have somebody put it in and out, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's just th those different things. Make the house look like somebody loves it, right? I always, I'm big on security, right? So let's see here um let's talk about um so i'm going to be bringing on uh, a couple of my buddies that are um uh, subcontractors carpenters other electricians other plumbers hvac guys so i'm gonna bring these guys on so you guys can hear from their point of view what to uh prepare for when it comes to um each job now taking take into account um, material price does change so things may be more but every house is different and a lot of you all ask me like hey well how much does this cost well it really depends on your house right because I can't charge you somebody may have a 4,000 square foot home and then another person may have a 700 square foot home of course your price is not going to be uh, the same um, code requires certain things for different properties depending on how the um, how it was designed and built so I can give you a ballpark number so don't be going and say well Calvin said it should cost this much I'm gonna say no I didn't I said it's a ballpark number you know so you know typically on the electrical side for me depending on what I have to do is either between eight to ten dollars a square foot you know somewhere around there right uh, depending on what it is right <clears throat> but typically my jobs um, I only do full home rewires um, or commercial, right? Um, try to stay away from commercial, but you know, I do. I definitely do the service entry for the commercial, but um, apartment bills and whatnot. Um, but typically, don't call me for no. Hey, Calvin, I need to change the outlet. I'm like, no. I, well, I'll find you somebody, but don't call me and think I'm about to change the outlet. I'm not doing that. Um, but whole home rewires, and if your house is not gutted out. I'm not doing it. I do apologize. That's just, I'm, I only work, I'm not fishing nothing. Okay. Uh, if I fish something, it's because I want to fish it. I'm not, you know, I do apologize. It's just, just, just not the electrician, you know, uh, typically. Um, but I got a guy. So that's, that's, that's a good part. So it just won't be me doing it. But if, if you need a whole home rewire and stuff like that, I got you. I got you. And of course, <clears throat> typically, um, like the, like the site that you saw, um, her budget called for one light uh, one light fixture per room. So one for the living room, one for the dining room, one for the kitchen. But as you see, I put recess lights throughout the whole, basically living room, dining room, and kitchen, and put in uh, another receptacle uh, light fixture for the separate from the whole uh, room. Um, so that way, of course, if you want to put a ceiling fan in there or whatever, so um there's just different things that uh i may say hey let me just go ahead and do this right so uh just depends so but back on to getting uh, your property secured um but yeah so you can also board it up from the inside um now a lot of properties uh like the property i showed you guys um had three doors it had a back door side door and front door we eliminated, I, I, I suggest to eliminate one of the doors because you don't need that many doors, right? Because of the neighborhood, I don't want somebody to kick in the back door. So we eliminated one of the doors, 
we eliminated one of the doors and um, <clears throat> and we kept the side door. We got rid of the back door um, and then on top of because we got rid of the back door, we had to um, open up the area so that way you know you can get stuff upstairs because um, we completely changed the whole layout. Um, which is coming out pretty good as you guys can see on the uh, video because uh, I'm going to do another video uh, once they get done with all the sanding. Um, of course, my guys, uh, they finished all the bathrooms. Um, so they're both, you know, full and a half bath and that master bedroom area. So it looks really good. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. Um, of course, these both these properties were done. I want to say less matter of fact to be honest with you we're less than 30 days of contractor days far what i mean what i mean by that is how much how much time did my contractor spend on site doing the work we're less than 30 days and what's left now is doors i mean not doors but flooring trim painting and what siding so uh Today was a good day, um, and uh, I'm just excited because uh, we stayed busy this whole winter. The whole winter we stayed busy. So summer about to, <laughs> man, y'all better get on the schedule because, uh, and how to get on the schedule? Deposits. Um, that's it. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, you try to shop my price around, don't come back and think you're gonna get the same price because I usually give a good deal when I, you know. But uh, we definitely, uh, we definitely working. And I'm also looking for more contractors and people that's willing to get in the trades. And also, if you want to learn the trades, you know, you you hey, you want to learn to be an electrician, you want to learn to be a plumber, HVAC. We 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 can help y'all. We can help y'all for sure. So I'm bringing some of my guys on. Um, I'm building a studio in my basement so of course the people that I mess with they can come over my house but don't be calling me to my hey can I use your studio no if I, <laughs> no <laughs> um, but yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys about uh, some of the things you need to do to secure your property um, cameras is a big thing I'm um, also um, oh solar lights solar lights around the property and also maybe even fencing and stuff like that you know privacy fence around the property some of that stuff is is is, is uh definitely a, a thing to get done because if your house just look open you know what i'm saying uh -uh. so budget that stuff in getting the fence around the property right so if the property looks like somebody's there like you you mm -mm. you know even if you decide that, hey you want to get a dog I got one customer, they had a dog in the backyard. They fenced up the property and they got a, um, a big old uh, water jug that constantly um, gives the dogs water and food. Just fill the food up and it just refills itself. And uh, <laughs> they got a dog. So the front, the back, like half their house is protected, right? So they got bars in the window. You go up in there if you want to. <laughs> This is gonna be all bad. It's all bad because the dog can get back in the house. They got a little dog thing. The dog can't get back in the house, so it's like, um, but yeah, it's 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 definitely a big thing securing your land bank properties. Um, you know, even my job sites. I got 360 cameras front and back. You walk in one of my job sites, it it it, it, it alarm, alarm goes off. Um, it was actually funny because we caught one guy. Uh, trying to steal the dummy cameras so he he did get two of our ring cameras so um, the good thing I like about ring is if somebody steal your cameras you just uh, submit the police report ring will send you some new cameras I, big shout out to them because they definitely do they definitely do that you know so they sent out two new cameras um the guy took two of the cameras but the floodlight was still on and then I had I had dummy cameras up so you didn't know what was real what was fake so he was he was trying to steal the dummy cameras off the whole time, but my customer ended up saying like, hey, he's trying to break in. I think this was like on the rainy days. Oh, definitely for whatever reason, people choose rainy days to break in. I think it maybe people think like, oh, maybe some water got on the camera and it's a blurry picture. I don't know. But when it's a rainy day, people tend to break into stuff. I don't know why they do that, but that's crazy. All right, well, I'm done. 
um, um, I'm gonna be uploading uploading regularly. So if you made it to this part, um, uh, made it to this part of the video, leave a comment. And let me know what type of videos you guys want. Even though I know I have videos on every part of it, and it's almost like I'm just talking in circles because I already made videos for everything. But at the end of the day, the YouTube algorithm may not, you know, hit right. So. Hey, I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna keep reiterating, keep giving you guys this good knowledge, and uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna do my own little, um, I guess you could say, land bank tour or whatever, where you guys can come in, fly in, and meet me. Um, I just gotta figure out what these ticket prices is gonna look like. I want it to be affordable at the same time. I I don't want to just put the, put together anything janky. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have some ideas about that, let me know. Um, and let's get it let's get it i'm good um she had a good dinner I, uh i cooked for church i was at church today and i was like well let me go ride to one of my job sites and uh i cooked you know cooked for the church you know and um and you know today was a good day you know so all right well i love you guys i uh, appreciate you guys um and thank you for watching all the way up to the end and i appreciate you Stay tuned. Probably upload another one in probably in a couple of days. And uh, we go from there. Uh, where? Okay. Oh, I've got it. So I got this little thing now so I can just press the button and stop the video. <laughs> I'm getting fancy with it, guys. <laughs>